a highly tragic, really horrific incident um, with many unknowns at this time that in, that's going to involve a lengthy and complex investigation. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Danelle Confair. We start tonight with breaking news. Tucson police are investigating three different crime scenes where two people have died and several other people, including first responders, have been injured. Their conditions tonight ranging from stable to critically injured. Tucson Police Chief Chris Magnus says the horrific scene started around 345 today when Tucson fire was dispatched to a house fire on the south side. During that time, a 35 year old male suspect arrived on the scene of the house fire and started shooting at firefighters and neighbors in the area. News 4 Tucson has obtained the 911 call leading to the suspect being apprehended. Copy shots fire suspect down. Copy shots fire. What are you doing? Shots fired over here. Shots fired. Now, as if this situation couldn't get any worse, Tucson police are also searching for two to three children. They're asking anyone with information to call 911 or 88 crime. You can remain anonymous. Now let's head out to News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink, who is live on the south side. Eric, you know, you've been out there all evening. What can you tell us? Yeah, Danelle, we've been out here since shortly after four o'clock. Uh, six hours later, police still working multiple crime scenes, as you alluded to just a moment ago. Chief Chris Magnus in a news conference earlier saying that there is only one suspect in this investigation and that that, and that, that suspect is in the hospital tonight in critical condition. The Tucson police chief calling this a tragic day for the city. And we spoke to a witness earlier. He did not want to go on camera, but he told us what he saw. And he said just earlier that he could not believe his eyes. I mean, I never witnessed anything like this, but I, I see it. I saw it with my eyes. I saw it. Tucson Fire says the call for this house on Irene Street came in around 345. Shortly after 345, Tucson police say the suspect drove about a mile north to Quincy Douglas Park. He opened fire and started shooting at first responders. Police say he hit both of them. Minutes later, the gunman went back to the house on Irene firefighters are starting to put out the flames at this point. Police say the suspect starts firing at firefighters and neighbors. Police say one neighbor was shot and died. A firefighter was also hit and authorities say he is in good condition. Police say the suspect fired at a police officer. That officer returning fire hitting the suspect. The witness tells us he saw the gunman outside the house. Just keep shooting. One by one, like after he finished, he was, I seen him loading it again. And the guy even told him, no, stop. And he kept on loading and kept on shooting. He was shooting at the, uh, the cops, too. Police telling us Sunday night there are also two or three children who live at this house whose whereabouts are unknown. The investigation has only just started. Both a highly tragic, really horrific incident um, with many unknowns at this time that in, that's going to involve a lengthy and complex investigation. Crazy and stupid you know the way things happen here i don't know what was the issue but it's and it's scary at the same time a sunday afternoon quickly turning chaotic in this south side neighborhood a very difficult day here as detectives continue their investigation and again chief magnus wanting to reiterate that if you have any information on the whereabouts of those two or three children who live in that house on irene vista please call 911 or 88 crime. Stay with News 4 Tucson on all of our platforms for the latest developments as they come in to our newsroom. We will be continuing to work this story. We are live tonight here on the South Side. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Danelle, let's go back to you. Thank you, Eric. Now let's just recap what we've learned tonight because it's a very layered situation. A 40 year old South Side neighbor is dead after being shot in the head. Now, police say they found an unidentified body badly burnt inside of the house fire. Firefighters were responding to a 20 year old AMR EMT is in critical condition after being shot. A 21 year old AMR EMT is in stable condition after being shot and a Tucson fire captain is in good condition after being shot. Another South Side neighbor is also in good condition tonight after being grazed by a bullet in his head. Now the suspect, a 35 year old male is in critical condition.
Now let's go ahead and head out to Banner University Medical Center in Midtown, where we know the AMR EMT that is in critical condition is being treated tonight. Now here's a live look outside of the hospital right now. Inside, 20-year-old AMR EMT is being treated with critical injuries. We're told there was a crowd earlier in the night of about 15 people to show their support, but they have gone home for the night since it started raining. Again, you know, limited information is available at this time, but of course we're going to continue continue to update you on that. Now, Tucson Mayor Regina Romero sent out these tweets tonight after the shooting saying, quote, I ask our entire Tucson community to join me in thinking about and praying for the victims of this afternoon's fire and shooting by Silver Lake Park, including first responders from AMR and the Tucson Fire Department. This was a horrific and senseless act of violence. Thank you to the men and women at Tucson Police and Tucson Fire and all of the first responders and neighbors who courageously responded to the scene knowingly putting themselves in danger. I have spoke with both Chief Magnus and Chief Ryan and let them know that they have my full support with anything they need during this difficult time.